What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about the CDS current environment connector, and we're going to look at the update a record action for it. So a lot like the one that is available in the other CDS connector, the update a record action allows you to update a record for um, in your CDS or Dynamics system. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in my Power Automate flow here. This is a CDS current environment flow, which means this is inside of a solution. Therefore, we have this trigger, which is when a record or an account is updated and we update telephone one, we're going to trigger this record or trigger this flow. Next, we'll click on new step and we'll type into the search box, common data service, and we'll choose this one here. It says common data service current environment. So we'll scroll down and there is an option or an action down here that says update a record. If we choose that, we then have two inputs. So unlike the other one where we have environments as well, we don't need that because it's just looking at the current environment, hence the name of the connector. So the entity name. So in this instance, I'm just going to update that account that we're triggering this from. So we'll choose accounts and the item ID is going to be the account from um, where we're triggering this from as well. So as you can kind of see, when I chose account, it starts to load the schema and it's pulled through a list of the um, a list of the the fields here. So we've got things like the um, the primary contact, uh, the account number, the rating, the address details. We've got basically every field on the um, on the account record. So in my instance, I'm going to I think I'll update the account number. Uh, where is the account number? Account number. Uh, and we'll update this to be um, 20, uh, 19, or 2020 dash, uh, 04 dash, um, 15. So it's today's date. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to trigger this record, we're going to update the account, and we're going to change the account number. So we will test this out. Click on test. I'll form the trigger action, save and test. Uh, and then I'm going to flick over to Power Automate. Here we have a test record for Acme Incorporated. Uh, it's called Acme Incorporated. Uh, it's got a account number here of 123456781. And we've also got a telephone number. So the telephone number, if I update this telephone number, maybe just remove some of these digits and hit save, it will trigger the flow. Um, if we go back to Power Automate here, we can see the flow run successfully. Um, we can expand it and it can show some details about it. Um, it's telling us things like the addresses and stuff like that, uh, the main telephone number, uh, which we've just updated, and the account number. So if I go back to my Acme Inc. record, we can see that it still says that at the moment. If we refresh the page, Uh, we can see the account number has updated, so it's that 2020-04-15. So there we have it, a quick and easy way to update records. So this, uh, again, this is in the current environment connector, so there are some things you need to be aware of, things like lookups and stuff like that. Uh, if you want to uh, know how to set lookups, I will link to a video in one of these corners, uh, whichever one um, is the right one, uh, probably that one. Um, and then you can um, see how to set lookups, and there are a couple of things you need to be aware of. So um, this is a great great action. I use it all the time to update all my records and, and do things like that. Let me know what you use it for in the comments down below. If you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.